Yo. So about three years ago, I did a ukulele instrumental version of Again by Yui, which is the introductory music for the at least the first series of Full Metal Alchemist uh, Brotherhood. And it's been by far and away the most popular thing that I've ever put on YouTube. And I've had a lot of requests to make a tutorial of it. Um, it's quite complicated, so I haven't done it up until now. Um, but I can't dodge it any longer. So grab your ukulele, grab your brew, and let's get into it. Right. So the song itself is in uh, C minor so we're going to be seeing some C minor shapes we're going to also be seeing some A flat shapes some B flat shapes some G minor um, but one thing that you'll notice is we actually leave the G string open a lot of the times where we wouldn't normally uh, so for instance we might leave it open when we're playing an A flat making it an A flat major seventh uh, and on a B flat making it a B flat sixth and that'll give it a nice kind of uh, ringing continuity do check out the video with the instrument on if you haven't already before checking out this uh, tutorial. Um, we're just going to go through it bit by bit and work our way through. Um, and hopefully by using this and the original video, you can have a good crack at putting together your own version of uh, this really lovely song. So the opening chord is this, which is uh, the A flat major seventh. So we're going to have the open G, we are going to have our C string on the 8th fret and we're going to have our E string also on the 8th fret and then we're going to have the A string on the 9th fret. Lovely chord. And then that's going to immediately drop down to our A flat major 7th here, which is exactly the same as your open G but with all the fretted fingers moved up, so we have third fret on the C string, fourth fret on the E string, and third fret on the A string, but we're still going to leave the G string open, making it the major seventh rather than the straight. going to play the 6th fret of the E string. While it's holding that A flat shape. Then we're going to play a B flat 6th. So that is open G. We're going to play fifth fret of the C string, giving us an F. We're going to play sixth fret of the E string, giving us our B flat, and then a second G on the tenth fret of the A string. So we're going to, oh. And then we're going to go. So onto our E string, we're going to play the 8th and the 10th fret. And then we're going to go to a C minor shape. So open G, third, and an open C, third fret on the E string giving us the G and then we're going to be playing from the D to the E flat so that's the fifth and sixth frets of the A string and then down to the third fret of the E string to give us that G so so far we have Well. 
And this is all play, quite a relaxed uh, feel at the opening. And then when we come back to it, we'll, this will form the chorus later and it's a little bit more, a little bit more active. So. Okay, then we're gonna go to another A flat major seventh shape. So again, open G string. I'm gonna play the E flat note on the C string on the third fret. We're going to play the A flat on the third string, so that's the fourth fret on the E string. But we're gonna go start off with the sixth fret on the A string. And then down to the third fret on the A string. And then sixth fret on the E string. And then just shift your chord up two frets to the B flat sixth. Okay, this is still a B flat sixth even though we haven't played that yet because we have the open G here. And then we're gonna go down two frets to the sixth fret on the A string. And then slide up to the 10th fret. gonna play a run down to the C minor. So open C and G strings and then fretting on the 8th fret and the 8th fret on the E and the A strings and then coming down to the 11th fret flat E flat and then back to the 8th on the E string. That's kind of the intro section. Okay, then we're gonna slide down, a bit more emphasis to our playing now. And we're gonna slide down to the C minor shape. So, it's actually a power chord because we don't have the minor third in it. It's just a power chord. So we've got the C, the G, and the C, and the G. And then we go up the chord, so we're going Third fret on the E string, third fret on the C string, up to the E flat, which is the sixth on the A string, down to the fifth. And then we're gonna go to a G minor chord. So that is open G string, second fret to give us a D on the C string, third fret to give us the G on the E string, and then first fret to give us a B flat, making it a minor chord on the A string. And then we're gonna go up to our A flat major seventh. So again, classic open G shape, but shift it up one and keep sounding this. So. That is the fourth fret on the E string. And then up to the third fret on the A string, giving us a C, sixth, Fifth, giving us the E flat D rundown. And then 
to an open in G major and we're going to go from the second to the third fret second to the third fret on the A string so Okay, then we're going to go to our power C chord again. So, just like this. And then, 6th to 5th. 6th to 5th fret on the A string and back again. And then we're going to do the same in that B flat 6th shape. So again, open G, shift it up. 3 and keep this ringing to give us a sick. And then we're gonna to go to this A flat major seventh shape. Very similar to our power chord, B flat sixth, and then to our A flat major seventh. And now we're going to go high here and we're going to move the chord up to support it. So I'm going to go to that A flat major seventh we use right at the beginning of the chord. So the one where we are on the 10th fret on the A string, 8th fret on the E string, 8th fret on the C string, and open on the G string. So. And then back down. Going from the third to the fifth to the sixth fret on the A string. So. so that whole section. We're going to go back to our C power chord, but because the main note on the melody is the G on the E string on the third fret, we're not going to sound the C above it because that will overpower. And what's nice, we have some repeated G notes and we can alternate between the third fret on the E string and the open G. before sliding down to the F on the first fret of the E string. And I'm gonna flip into a B flat chord, which is first fret fretted on the A and C strings, second fret on the C strings because of D, and then um, B flat on the third fret of the G string. So.
repeat the B flat at the top before going up to the C on the A, which is on the third fret. So. And then down to the G on the third fret of the E. And sound that twice before going down to the F on the first fret of the E string. Slide up to so we're gonna again we're moving into an A flat major seventh shape, um, but we're going to play the B flat for the melody and we're gonna do that on the sixth fret of the E string, then up to the C on the third fret of the A string, and then down to the G on the third fret of the G string. So. So that's the third fret on the E string to the fourth, and then the sixth on the A string, goes to the E flat down to the D on the fifth fret of the A string, and then back down to the G on the third fret of the E string. And it does that twice, so just repeat that. And then we're going to go, we're going to stay on A flat major seventh, but we're going to go back to actually having the A flat on the fourth fret of the E string, so it's back to our open G, move that one. And we're using the C on the third fret of the A string for the melody. So that's just stepping up to the D on the fifth fret. Remember how we went up to the high A flat major seventh? We're gonna do that again, so. fret on the C and E strings, the G string is open and the A string is going from the 10th to the 8th. And then it does the same pattern on the lower A flat major 7th. So. And then up to our B flat sixth and a nice little run that is sixth E flat on the sixth fret of the A string to the D on the fifth and then we're going to move on to the E string and go from the eighth to the sixth.
and then we're going to go back and see the pattern that we used for our introduction but now we're in the chorus so okay we're going to put that in again but we're going to go to E flat here by just pressing down on the third fret on the C and E strings and playing the G here, meeting this string and going up the run from the third, fourth, sixth fret on the E string. So. Okay, we didn't put that run in when we did it on the intro. exactly the same as the intro but again we put the E flat run in so from G to A flat to B flat with G string open and the C string fret on the third row Now this is something that I didn't put in on my version and I thought of uh, at some point quite a long time afterwards. So after you, the second time around that in the chorus, instead of just going on the E flat run, you go and then to F. So I'm gonna go to our open F chord, which is second fret to give us the A on the G string, open C, first fret to give us the F on the E string, and open A. And then we're gonna go up to the first fret on the A string to give the B flat, so we go. It's something it does on the theme tune that I didn't put into my tutorial, so if you slide that in and get a better version than me. And then it just ends with. So, those are all the bits you need to put together your version of um, My Full Metal Alchemist, um, again by Yui, ukulele instrumental. Really looking forward to seeing um, some other versions of this setup now. So, please have a go. Please get them uploaded. Please let me know that you've done it. And I'm really looking forward. Have fun. I hope you have as much fun with this song as I have.